Hey guys, if you are uh, enjoying this tutorial, please consider subscribing. We've got new tutorials coming out every Monday, 7 p.m. New Zealand time, and um, that would be awesome. Okay, we're going to teach you some two parts. One is that I'm going to teach you the lead part that you hear in the intro of the song, and then two, I'm going to teach you all the chords and how to play those chords, okay? So, uh, if you want to jump straight to the chords, you can click through to this timestamp right here. But right now, I'm going to teach you how to play the lead guitar part in the intro. Alright, so let's get straight into it. Now, we're going to start here on the 3rd fret of our B string, and we're going to slide from our 3rd fret to our 5th fret. Like so. Okay, there, from there, we're going to play on our E string. We're going to play uh, 3, 5, and then we're going to slide from 5 to 7, and then land back on the 5. Okay, so again, that's... Uh, on our E string, we're going to... Okay, so that's 3, 5, then slide from 5 to 7, and then land on 5. Okay, so put that together, we have... Okay, again, 3, 5, and then jump up a string. 3, 5, 7, 5. That's our first part. Alright, again. Okay, now our next little line is going to go like this. Okay, so we're playing uh, 5, 7, and then 7 again and slide to 8. And play 8 twice, okay, so... And then we play it a third time, okay, so... 2, 3, okay. We're actually playing that um, 8 uh, fret three times, so... And then we're going to go back to 7, 5, 7. Okay, um, the tabs are across the bottom of the screen, of course, so that will help you out. So we're going to go 5, 7, dun, 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 dun. Basically, we're playing the melody here of the song, in case you couldn't hear that. So if we put that together, we've got... Alright, now we're up to our third section, section, and I think I just whistled there, pretty cool. Um, now, now I'm pretty sure it's just plays, but I think it's kind of cool to add a harmony, so that's what I've done. Okay, so we're going to, like, these double stops, so we're going to play on the fourth fret of our uh, G string, the G string on the guitar, the G string on, on your butt cheeks, and our third fret of the E string. That's our first shape. Then we're going to play, we're going to move up to five, the same strings, but we're going to play this time on the fifth fret of our G string and fifth fret of our E string. Okay, so we go, and then we're going to slide up from our fifth to our seventh, and then land on our five and seven. Okay, so all together that is. Okay, so we're just plucking with our thumb and our first finger, and we're playing only our G string and our high E string. Okay, that's our third section, and now we're coming to the next part, which is going to go... Oh. Okay, so that is uh, 5, 7, 8, 7, 5, 7. 5, 7, 8, 7, 5, 7. So we put those little parts together. Okay, so that's our third section. Now our very last part, okay, it's just going to go seven, five, three, five, seven. Kind of sounds cooler if you hammer on from the fifth to the seventh. If you'd like to uh, uh, spice it up a little bit on the guitar. Like so. So if we put that whole shebang right together from the beginning, it's going to go like this.
sorry, that was... I'll leave it again. Let's do it again. This time slow. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but that's something. your uncle Josh is your dad and now we're going to play with the uh, the chords okay so I'm going to run you through how to play um, the chords and how they go don't forget that uh, the chords and lyrics are available in the Google document in the link below so if you would like the chords and lyrics I've got a document with the link below where you can have all the chords and lyrics out on one sheet for you to jam along to so our intro starts with this A minor seventh chord now an A minor 7 chord is basically just barring the 5th fret, all of the strings, okay? I play it with my thumb like this, and you can do that too, and then you just bar with your middle finger and your thumb for the bass. Now the reason I do that is because in the song you can hear him play, and he takes off his finger and goes on and off and on and on. It's kind of easy for me to play it with my thumb, but you could definitely play it like this. Okay, so our intro goes, a minor 7 we're going to play with our thumb bass and then with our three fingers here we're going to play the D string, G string, B string like that so you go bass, pluck, bass, bass, pluck that's our pattern for the A minor 7 so it goes bass, pluck and then we pull, take our first finger off and play the E bass by itself and then A bass again on the 5th fret and then pluck again so that's bass, pluck, bass, bass, pluck so when I'm saying bass, bass, it's going open E string and then back to our A note on the fifth fret. So that is all together. Boom, pluck, boom, boom, pluck. Okay, again, A, pluck, open E, A, pluck. So bass, pluck, bass, bass, pluck. I hope that's making sense. Bass, pluck, bass, bass, pluck. Okay. Our next chord I've written as D. Now it is essentially a D chord here, but what we're doing here is uh, it's kind of like a, a D9, but I just, it's, you just need to know it is a D. Now to play this, you can definitely just move your finger down one string. So your bass note is now this D note on the fifth fret of our A string like that. Okay, and that's the same notes above, okay? So we're going, that's a D chord again. Either with that finger, that finger, whatever finger you want. Um, doesn't matter, that one, this one. Bob's your uncle. So we're gonna go um, bass, A, and now for D, our pattern goes. Uh, okay, so that's bass, pluck, bass, pluck. Okay, so bass, pluck, slap, bass, pluck. Yeah, you can add a slap if you want to get rid of it. A. Like that, okay, so that's bass, pluck, oh, it's bass. So bass pluck slap bass pluck slap bass pluck slap bass pluck slap. Okay, put it together. Mm. Now, when we get to our G chord, we're gonna play an open G chord that you already know how to play, right? And he um, he's a bass player, so he likes to keep the bass. Uh, when he's playing the guitar, you can hear that he likes to keep the bass. Interesting, not just sitting on this one G note. So he's going uh, G chord with a B bass there. He goes up um, the second fret of our um, A string. So just alternating between the G and that B bass, okay? And that's, this time we're playing these high strings. We're plucking the, for our um, a pluck, okay? Okay, so. Let's play the first line together. <clears throat> it was like yesterday. I can't say, obviously. When I held so for the G chord, we're going bass chord slap, the bass chord slap, bass chord slap. Then we're going to go. 
Now that is open E and then seventh fret of our low E string, sixth fret of our low E string, and then back to our A. Definitely a bass player. We're getting in all these passing notes like that. Um, boom, boom, A minor. So, um, and that's our little um, passing notes that bring us back to the second line of the verse. Dancing the night away. Same as before. Okay, now we're going to, when we go to our C chord, C is um, like the C sus chord. So, if you play a G like so, the C sus chord is exactly the same, but just move these two fingers, that's your first and middle finger, down one string each. And now we have the C and an E. Okay, that's our C. So every time it says C, that's the C you're going to play. Alright, so. This could be real. Now D, you can either play that D that we play up there, or you can just play your good old Fandang or D chord. You can even add this note here to make it a sus. So, thinking this could be real. C, a D, and then we're going G. Now here we're doing a bit of a climb down, okay, we're going G, and now it says D with an F sharp. So that is a D chord that you already know how to play it with this F sharp bass. Okay, so we're climbing down G, F sharp into the E minor. Now, if that's hard for you to play with your thumb, you're not used to putting your thumb over like that, you can just go, okay, and just take off. Just use, um, keep these two fingers there, but just put your first finger going down to the second fret to play that F sharp bass. Perfect melody, oh, melody to my song, E minor. Okay, you already know an E minor. So, let's play that third line together. Thinking this could be real. That's when we kiss. Mm. Now that this time our A minor is holding for twice as long, okay? Then I asked you. Yeah, that's our verse done. Now we're heading into the chorus, ladies and gentlemen. Have you ever seen that in one D? Now, if you like the sound of that D there, awesome. If you want to play that D the, like this with that added, that also great. Now again, we're on the cheese, so we're going G, B, G, B. So just a reminder of that pattern is uh, bass chord slap, bass chord slap. Like so, okay? Or how the sun sees, same thing again. The horizon and the smack again. All I can see. Oh, I don't need to go The um, D. Now here comes that climb down. Now this E minor, you can just keep those fingers there the whole time and then add your E minor like that. That's nice. Um, but I know one thing. I'm in love deep with my best friend. Now here's another. We're back to that rundown from the intro. So we go C, G with a B bass. Okay. C, G. Essentially. And then to our B flat again. Okay, and then the last line of the chorus goes, it's perfect to me, G. Oh, then we go, perfect to me, G. G with a B, okay, which is that note there. And then C. Okay, and then finish on the rundown, which is C, G with a B, and B flat. Okay. So let's play our chorus through together with my horrible singing. Have you ever said that? Why did they sing out of tune? See, or oh, how the sun leaves out the horizon and comes back again. To see how we go at the end of Now that run down G, D e minor twice. But I know one thing I'm in D with my. Now I run down. 
That's perfect to me. G, G with the beat bass. C. Now I run down again to finish. Boom, shaka laka, boom, done. Whoops, I almost forgot to teach you the chords in the intro of the song. Now they are the same as the verse, so we've already, you've actually already played them before. It's that A minor seven. D, just like in the first two lines of the verse. G. So that's exactly the same. The only thing I haven't shown you is where we have our rundown part, okay? So that I'm going to teach you right now. Okay, so that is our C chord that you know. So we're going to play the C chord, pluck the C chord once, move down to a G with a B bass, which is essentially that. Just like the G chord, but we're not playing this, this uh, bass note, we're playing that bass note. Okay, so we're going C and then basically come down one fret to play our B bass and then finally we're going to move down one more fret to play this B flat bass and our fingers can stay there the same all the, the same time okay so these fingers actually can stay there the, exactly the same and we're just going to move this finger down from our third fret to our second fret to our first fret okay so that's C G with a B bass and then B flat okay so our verse our intro all together would go So I'll run down from C, C, B, B flat. That's it. Uh, that's the whole song. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it's been helpful. If you've enjoyed it, please consider subscribing. Drop us a comment with what song you want to learn next. And let's do this again. God bless you guys and we'll see you later. Goodbye.